I'd like to call our meeting to order. Um, we have, I believe, one item on the agenda and <laughs> I'm desperately like scrolling through all the open windows on my computer to find the agenda. It was here just a second ago. Um, I guess our first uh, item is to re review and possibly approve the meeting minutes from March 22nd. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second it. Okay, motion is made and seconded. Um, is there any discussion? Great job, Amy. <laughs> That's an important discussion point, I think. <laughs> um, all right. If uh, there's no other, um, if there's no other discussion, then um, I should call a roll call vote. Uh, Keith. Yes. Um, Betty. Yes. Susan. Yes. Joyce. Yes. Okay. All right. We're good on that. Um, Review and discuss updated salary survey information and request received since last meeting, which is um, basically the, um, the last item we were discussing last meeting. Um, and um, my understanding is the way we left it was we were gonna kind of look into this idea of um, coming up with a kind of a more formal way to compare Keith's new job, which includes buildings and highways, um, to the what we've usually been comparing him to, which was highway superintendents. So um, if it's okay for me to share a screen here, um, I did, uh, I took some of the um, information we had from last year and I made some calculations and it's gonna look funny because it's gonna be, it's gonna look like I'm like looking at my nose at you or something, but no, I'm just looking at the top screen where the actual stuff is. So maybe I can make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. Um, this is our salary uh, sheet that we always use with all the various towns. And I added a row to it um, and I called it Waitley Highway slash building superintendent. Uh, and I said that that our highway building superintendent is equal to 7% more than the median highway superintendent. And that 7% came from the fact that 2020 was the first year we gave a bump uh, uh, to Keith with the recognition that he was going to have a little more responsibility for the buildings. So um, that's where that 7% came from because that year he was right about at the median for all the towns we compared to and we gave him a bump that was seven percent well it's, maybe it's really 6.9 but let's call it seven for for those purposes and i made this this row yellow so that when i go this way you'll remember which row it is and i made it a little wider too okay so um if i take so so the idea here is if we take this median um uh, annual, uh, you know, of the, of the towns, and we keep comparing Keith's salary to it, it's always going to look too high. And there wouldn't be any sort of adjustments for kind of the, the whole, well, you know, when, when all the boats are rising. So what I did here in this cell here, I'll double click it so you can see, I just took that median and multiplied by 1.07 to make it 7% higher. So my suggestion is that we use this number as our basis for comparison for Keith's job. For the record, uh, can you explain why set why 7%? Oh, um, that's because in 2020, when we set his salary, um, we, uh, we took, uh, basically he was already at the median and we gave him more responsibilities and an extra amount of a, like $4,600 um, and if you take the ratio of that, you know, that extra amount to the total, that's basically that's, 7%. Yeah. So that's, that's what, what I thought, but I wanted to check. Yeah. 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 Um, and I didn't worry about average because, you know, they're partly because they're kind of similar and we tended to go with the median anyway. Okay. Um, so then right now, so I would argue that we should be comparing Keith's current salary to this number instead of this number, okay? 
And at this, you know, with this number, the 72,000 number, um, that means the difference is now negative instead of plus 5.68% looking like he's like way overpaid um, compared to that. I'm saying that comparison is, is not really a good comparison. The next best comparison might be compared to this number instead. By this number, he's underpaid by about 1%. Um, and that's sort of the, you know, the lifting of all boats around us, right? When, when other folks get their raises. So um, I would propose then that, um, you know, even though sometimes we ignore salary differences that are less than a percent, I would propose that we go ahead and uh, vote, and I will vote in favor of raising the base pay for our highway slash building superintendent by 0.92% to bring it up to 7% uh, over the median um, from highway superintendents. And then on top of that, there'll be a, a COLA. Um, and so it would basically be 72,332 plus the COLA, which will make it 73 something. Um, and I can calculate that number right here. Uh, the COLA was 2%, right? And so if I do that, um, that it will actually be almost 74,000 um, after the COLA. Now, normally what we do is we report to the finance committee, we report the pre-COLA numbers. So I think what we have to decide on is, do we wanna set this new benchmark of like 7% above uh, the local highway superintendents to reflect the extra responsibilities of, of you know, looking at of taking care of our buildings too. Um, because that's, I, I mean, to me, the good thing about it is it's quite defensible to the finance committee um, because they went along with the uh, bump of 4,600 plus or minus uh, back in 2020. Um, I think I, I did some other calculations in another place and, and Keith is right that his, um, you know, and, and maybe even this 5.68 um, kind of shows that, you know, that should be 7%, right? right? That difference should be, that should be 7%. And if we're comparing it to just our, our uh, average or median from our, our adjacent towns or they are comparison towns, I should say, then we are letting that bump really get eroded. So that's a real thing. And this kind of protects the bump because it's in a percent Right, and so it's seven percent above whatever the median is, and then, as usual, if you know if the median somehow goes down, we have tended not to kind of hold people harmless, and we don't, you know, we don't take their salaries down necessarily. And there's plenty of examples of that uh, in our salary chart. Um, so besides being defensible to the finance committee, I think it's kind of in line with how we've made decisions in the past. Um, that we can, you know, we can we can easily defend it. It's similar to what we've done in the past. If we want to have a longer conversation about whether whether that original bump should have been a seven percent bump or whether it should have been something else, then that's kind of a longer conversation. But I think this is in the spirit of what I understood at the last, end of our last meeting. What we wanted to do, we wanted to make sure that bump didn't get eroded over time, and I think this would do that. I really like this analysis. I like this approach. It makes sense. My only question is you know, what you just said is, is that seven the right number? Mm. Um, yeah. And we, we got it just because it was a 7% above median bump the very first time. Right. Right. So, yeah. you know, to, to your point, that's a, you know, that's a longer conversation that we can spend time looking into over the next year to see if that needs to be adjusted. I, but for this year's budget, I would absolutely endorse what you're suggesting. Yeah, does anybody else have um, any like questions or discussion? What do you think, and Betty? No, I agree. And I thank you for doing that work for us. Agreed. It was, it was tough. I had to take like 7% and then later 2%. <laughs> to think about what, you know, I'm just kidding. 
No, it, it is. Sometimes it, it can get really, um, uh, it can get really disorienting looking at all the, the various numbers. And I thought, um, let's try to do something that's kind of as close as we can to what we're, what we're accustomed to. Um, Has there been any change in the responsibilities relating to buildings aside from COVID? Forget the COVID piece, which obviously is a big piece, but we know that it's not normal. Right. Any reason that we think that seven should be higher or lower because the, the responsibilities have changed dramatically? Well, it's only been here for the 2020, so we'll only have a small amount of time, but maybe Keith can speak to that. You know, as far as any major changes, um, you know, again, it's not just the building superintendent stuff. It's the, you know, again, the as I had written up in my um, last thing that I've written up is fact that the, the job is also, it's more or less headed towards a, you know, what I consider to be more like a department of public works. And, mm -hmm. and I'm having the other things and the responsibilities being the fact that I'm, in a sense, I'm taking on parks and, and recreation type stuff. And so that it, it's the position is, is evolving mm. almost, you know, in the last five years, it has seriously evolved from just being a highway superintendent. And when I talk to some of my, my counterparts that, that, you know, I'm being, my salary was being compared to, I mean, they don't have those responsibilities. And so, mm. um, and so I can, you know, I, I can accept what you came up with, Joyce. The, my, my biggest thing is I sat back uh, a month ago and said to myself, if I don't bring this to somebody's attention, as you mm -hmm. used the word, the, that, that, um, my, the fact that I was started at 7% over, that's gonna erode down to nothing. And at mm -hmm. that point in time, I would not be yeah. compensated for any of those additional responsibilities. So, yeah. Um, I think in the bigger picture um, that this town really needs to um, evaluate their, a lot of these positions in town again, especially department heads. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm, not the, I'm not the only one in this town that is taking on in the last five years, a lot more responsibilities. Um, as time goes on, there's less and less um, volunteerism. And when you look at things like the the rec department and the and just that one department, the things that they put on workload with our town employees is is a lot. And um, mm -hmm. and so um, another one that's going to really need to be looked at in the near future is the fire chief. Um, I don't know if any of you are not aware or not, but the town of Ashfield um, is just recommended, and they've just gone out to um, advertise for a full time chief. They're current fire chief is going to be timing out because he's reaching the age of 70. And as we all know, once you reach that magic number of 70, the state doesn't allow for us, for firefighters and police officers to, to work anymore. So um, mm -hmm. it, it's, we're going to be, you know, John, we all know John has only got less than two years and that's another department that um, do we want to make a, full time or do we want to stay part time and we better think about that before we get to mm -hmm. you know, to a week before John says I'm all done so um, <laughs> we've got you know lots of things to think about in the next few years and you know at our last meeting Brian had mentioned about you know getting a an outside um, agency of some sort to come in and, and evaluate our positions again so I think we really need to do that. Yeah, no, I think I think you made a really good point because I agree with you that there's just there's I mean, well, I'll put it this way. You guys are handy, you and the highway department and I guess highway and building department now. Um, and you know, when we need like a this or that, you guys are you know, you jump in and help out because we need it. And um, maybe we need a good way to evaluate that and value it um, uh, the way it ought to be. So I, I agree with that. Um, wholeheartedly. Um, so I think that's something we should sort of put on our agenda if we can. I don't know if there's any, if this has been slipped in in any manner <laughs> into the coming budget so that we could actually get professional help 
to do this sort of thing. Everybody on this call knows we could use professional help, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I certainly agree with that. Mm -hmm. Me too. And, and it may be that, well, I mean, what I like about what we've got here is it gives us a framework of saying, oh, well, maybe it really should be 10% more. Maybe it really should, maybe, you know, it, it gives us a way to kind of quantify it and then go and justify that to, to the finance committee because they do respect uh, numbers uh, when you can kind of, when you can do something to back them up. Mm -hmm. I just want to echo what Keith said about about the need for. I really think it's a broader analysis of of really the the structure of the town and how we and how we provide services and, and um, you know there's there's some committees who who really just aren't, aren't meeting. Um, there's some who are you know who had dedicated volunteers in the past. Um, and a lot of the responsibilities of, of the rec commission in terms of, um, you know, putting rosters together and, and, and processing fees and stuff like that has, has really just dropped down to Amy. Um, yeah. And there's other things, you know, and, and uh, I've mentioned the housing committee before we housing. And I don't, I don't volunteer in my town because I have kids. I don't have a lot of time. So I, yeah, this isn't a, uh, this isn't a criticism of, of people. It, it's just a, you know, kind of just stating how it is, is people don't have a lot of time. And I mean, the housing, the housing trust has $130,000, I think in it. And it, it's just, it's just difficult. It's difficult to find volunteers. We still have vacancies on boards. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the issues have gotten a lot of, com have gotten a lot more complex. Um, it, yeah. yeah. And it's, it, it's, it's a good time it's a good time to start looking at these things as we look, you know, to the next 50 years. Yeah. You know, when we celebrate our 300th birthday, I think it, the, the town government structure should look a lot different than it does at the, yeah. Oh goodness. I don't even want to venture in a guess when, when this structure was formed, but maybe 250 years ago, I don't know. <laughs> Probably didn't have a rec committee then though, mm. but it, it's um, definitely something that, that we should take a look at. Have you snuck in a little slush fund for us to possibly get some help on that? Um, I have not. I did take a look at the at the community compact best practices grant. Um, okay. That's a rolling grant. It has a human resources best practice. Um, it, it, it's it's really looking more at a formal wage and classification plan. Um, but I think they're pretty flexible. If we had an idea as to what as to what you know what we want to ask for um i don't think they're that strict okay um so if we if the preamble was you know times are changing it's hard to get volunteers the way we used to with now i mean 50 years ago most families had it were one earner households right today one earner households are, are the exception and not the rule so um i mean between those kinds of changes um, we don't have the volunteer base we used to have, and we need to change our structure. Give us money. <laughs> I mean, I mean, th that's not the way you write a grant, but sort of uh, couching it that way, we might get some. So you're saying, okay, so we want to put that in there uh, into a grant application, and we may get something. Um, and as a backup, if we don't, um, do we have any other places where we might you know, go hat in hand to some, I don't know, somebody's office at Fort Sandy Lane or. <laughs> um, it, in terms of budgets, the budget's pretty lean. Um, mm -hmm. I think we would just have to just have to get some estimates. Um, And, uh, you know, it, it brings into a lot, a study like this break ca calls up a lot of issues. I mean, it, it talks it may point out regionalization is the way to go. It may point out that, um, so if we can couch it in terms of regionalization and sort of organizational structure, we may find more support. Um, I can't imagine we're the only town that's that's struggling yeah. with this right now. I, it's it's constant. Another concern that I have is the cemetery commissioners. 
Um, Darcy does a, a lot of work for the cemetery commissioners. Cemetery commissioners are, are working commissioners. Mm -hmm. um, and Neil has joined her, but I mean, I don't know if there's another Darcy and another Neil. Um, and, you know, if mm -hmm. the cemeteries aren't getting mowed, we might, you know, two years from now, you might, someone might go to Keith and say, Hey, can you guys mow the cemetery? And <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, I don't necessarily, I, I think this is a conversation that, that, that the select board should have, I think. Um, okay. Okay. Well, if we can get that on the next selectman's agenda, just at least as an initial discussion. Yeah. And um, it may even be in time to get something in this year's budget. Um, I, I mean, it could be just something, <coughs> something small and that can be displaced by a grant if we get the grant. But at least some sort of seed money to get that started, I think, might be, um, might be, might be good. I mean, I, um, I mean, I, I, I don't really want this conversation to end here. I mean, we sort of have a stopgap um, in this thing that I proposed. I think we all recognize that that's that that's what it is, right? It's not a, a good permanent solution. Um, so um, I think any action we can take that's even if it's baby steps towards reevaluating the system, then that's, I think, a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's getting on to 620. Um, I would <laughs> entertain a motion regarding um, the, the, the uh, sorry, I'll get the agenda up here. Um, uh, regarding a salary adjustment for our uh, Highway and Building Superintendent. I move that for the upcoming fiscal year, we calculate the salary based on the 7%, including which brings us to a base salary of 72,332, if I'm reading it right. Okay. Before COLA. Yeah, before COLA. And then, that, and then that we over the next year we revisit or you know, we right. investigate this further for a more long term solution, more comprehensive solution. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. Is there any further discussion? Okay, I'll go a roll call vote. Uh, Betty, yes, uh, Susan, yes, Joyce, yes, and I think Keith is sustaining on account of conflict of interest. Um, all right, um, so I believe that's all the business we have. Is there any items not anticipated that anyone's aware of here? Okay, I'm not seeing anybody bring things up. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Joyce, can you stay on for two seconds? And I think that means we need Amy or Brian to stay on. I promise to be quick. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll next topic. meeting. Oh, next oh, meeting. Oh, do, uh, do we need to set a next meeting date or is that next season? Because I think we've made all our decisions okay. for this budget season. All right. Um, okay. Um, so is that a motion to adjourn then, Betty? Yeah, a motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll second that. All in favor, Betty? Aye. Susan? Aye. Keith? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Okay, great. Good night, everybody. We did it in less than 30 minutes. Nice. Okay, real quick. Joyce, do I need to do anything with Paradise? Oh, I put the order in. Um, they'll have it ready Wednesday. I told them I'd come pick it up Wednesday morning. Awesome. And then uh, it, it really just needs to be counted. I don't know that I need help counting. I mean, I can count to 300 really well. That, um, we, Fred and I are happy to help with that. We're happy to run to post offices. You tell me what you need me to do because- okay. Let me see where things, I, I think um, probably the running to post offices will be the part where I could use some help. Um, he's, but then- He's good at that, that. Yeah, and then running to post offices will be like on like the day you, the day before you want it in people's mailboxes. Okay, fine. Yeah. We okay. Are, know that we are here, we are not dropping this in your lap. So you tell us what uh, you need us to do when well, we're you, there. You let them do all the way. They're doing the folding, they're doing the stapling, they're doing the collating and the tabbing. So. Where um, so I'm I'm only doing the counting, okay. which is something I would have to check if somebody else did the counting anyway. So, well, thank you very much, and then oh, we'll okay. just get them from you and tell take them where you tell us to. Okay, all right, great. Thank just you. I promise. Oh, I'll be quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Take care.
care, everybody. Okay. Good night. See you later. Bye. Thanks. Bye.